Welcome back everyone, this is Eric Lascano delivering the insights to you all, pure and refined. And in today's segment, I introduce you to the three insidious malignancies. What do I mean by insidious? I mean proceeding in a subtle and gradual yet harmful manner. What do I mean by malignancies? Cancerous mind states. The first of these three I'll introduce in this video is what I like to call shooting mind. Rhymes with pudding, it's not sweet at all, and in fact, most of the time it's quite bitter or sour. Shooting mind typically presents one of two ways. I should be or I shouldn't be, dot, dot, dot. Of note, when we wish for conditions to be any other way than how they are, we are dishonoring the now. Moreover, we put ourselves in a state of contraction. I say, why not put ourselves in a state of expansion and rephrase in the following way. I am here because, or I am here due to. In doing so, we put ourselves in the driver's seat. Moreover, we can then accept and acknowledge the conditions that led to the arising of the now and search for the invisible ones that we're likely not appreciating. Three examples to illustrate shooting mind in all of its glory. Number one, suppose you're in a room with a closed door. In this room, there is a visitor. They are donning a cloak of invisibility. They are not seen. They stand in front of the door and we make an effort to open the door. We pull on the handle and we say, this door should be opening. I should be able to open the door. True or false? <laughs> Example number two, I take the number one, I add to it the number one. The addition should have gotten me the number 20. True or false? Example number three, I'm in the kitchen. I've mixed together a cup of butter, a cup of sugar, two cups of chocolate chips, three cups of flour, and a teaspoon of salt. I prepared everything and put it in the oven. I should not have gotten chocolate chip cookies. True or false? That's all for now, folks. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.